Hi, this is Andrew Mazur, and today I want to give you a quick SEO tip, a very important search engine optimization tip because it just came across my desk and it's on the top of my mind right now. I just met a business owner recently for the first time. So I went to check out his website just for the heck of it. You know, it's what I do. So I visited one page of his website about the services his company provides. I can't divulge the details. That wouldn't be right. But what I found was that it's not his original content. In other words, he didn't write it. The material is copied from another website almost word for word. And that is a no-no online. Why? Because Google and the other search engines know if written material, content, information has already been used online. Now, of course, there's a lot of information online and a lot of things all already mean the same thing, but this is word for word. How do I know this? Because there are tools that allow you to check this. Now, if you're a business owner and you hire someone else to do your website and to create content for your website, you have to be very careful that they're not being lazy and stealing content from other websites to put on your website because that is really gonna hurt your search engine ranking. Those pages with duplicate content will not be visible on the searches. So it's very, very important. Now I'll show you the tool that I use to, whoops, uh, to learn this. And it's, um, it's called smalleseotools.com. Or you could just uh, Google duplicate, the, the term duplicate content or plagiarism checker. And this is a free tool, smalleseotools.com slash plagiarism dash checker. And what you do is you simply copy the content of a web page by selecting all the content. You copy it and then you paste it into the box right here and you click check plagiarism and look what I look what I found 75% of the content is duplicate content is plagiarized 25% of it is unique this will never this this company's webpage will never occupy the search results on Google and I didn't check any of the other pages but I'm betting that most of the pages that are uh, general information and not specific to this guy's company will also be duplicate content. And he doesn't know it because he didn't write it. He had somebody else do it for him, built out this multi-page multi website, and this stuff isn't original content. So not only will that not work for your business, it will also penalize your business, penalize your potentially your entire website. And so therefore, it will be nearly impossible for someone who doesn't know about your business already to, um, to find you online. I'm trying to find the button that stops. I'm talking into the camera. I wasn't looking at you. But uh, you get the idea that if you don't, if you fill your website up with content that is on other companies' websites, your content will never be seen, your website will never rank, and the chances of you getting new customers by virtue of online search becomes nearly impossible. The chances are become almost zero. So um, very important uh, for you to understand how to use this search, this plagiarism tool, or at least confront the people who are making your content for your website and making them 
show you and promise you and prove to you that they're delivering original content, not just copying and pasting from somebody else's website. Okay, I hope this helps. I hope you find this useful. I'm Andrew Mazur, Small Business University. Uh, give me a uh, shout out if you ever need any more tips or advice. Let me know how you like this tip, by the way. Hope you find it valuable. Thank you.